In this slideshow, I'm going to talk about including and organizing important information in incident reports or event reports. Incident reports or event reports often describe accidents, medication errors, falls, injuries, and anything else that the hospital administration requires that you report or requires that there be documentation for. On a separate sheet of paper, I'd like you to brainstorm for a list of things that you think should be included in an incident report. Here are some of the things that you might have included in your list. The name of the writer, your name. The time of the event. The place of the event. The people involved in the event. Now, some organizations do not allow you to include the names of people because um, that you know, because of privacy concerns. And so um, you may just talk about their positions, a nurse or a client or a patient or a healthcare aide, rather than talking about, um, rather than using specific names. You might talk about who observed the event. Again, you may or may not include names depending on your organization's policy. What happened? during the event, the description of injuries or the condition or the damage that happened, description of ongoing problems, description of the present situation, uh, description of who the incident was reported to, description of actions taken, and even actions or plans that are still to be taken. So I'd like you to brainstorm again and think about who reads reports about incidents or injuries. Here are some of the people that you might have listed. You might have listed managers and supervisors, hospital administrators, directors, lawyers may read them, witnesses might read them, and WCB, Workers' Compensation Board officials might read them. All of these people are very busy people. And for this reason, within a few seconds of starting to read the report, they want to know what happened. So if they stop reading after the first sentence or two, they should be able to summarize what happened and who was involved. They should know the key details. This means in your first sen sentence or two, it's very important that you answer certain key questions. What happened? That should be there. To whom? When did it happen? And where? The rest of the report then should fill in the details of what happened. And these details need to be arranged in a logical order. In most cases, that logical order is a chronological order. <clears throat> that means that it is organized according to time. So first of all, what was happening when or maybe even just before the event occurred? What happened first? What happened next and what happened after that? And then what happened after that? What is still happening? And what will happen in the future? Now you're ready to practice organizing an incident report.